Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 7 Review. I've rewatched Season 7 of Buffy again a month or so back, not too long after I rewatched Season 6. Now, I have to admit, I'm not as big on the last two seasons these days. I don't like them quite as much as the first five. I certainly don't think they're up there with two through five. But I have to admit, this time around, I actually did prefer season six. Um, for all that's talked about how depressing season six is, season seven is actually just as, if not more so, especially once the first arc kicks off. It's just all so bleak and miserable. Um, even the warmth that you kind of normally get from these characters is increasingly conspicuous by its absence. After her depression in season six, we get happy quippy Buffy back for about six episodes, and not long after that she's depressed again and even icier than ever. The relationships are kind of screwed. I mean, I was never really into the Buffy Spike thing anyway. Xander and Anya are done. Tara's dead. And the Willow Kennedy thing, to be honest, is just kind of... I don't care. Kennedy seems to be there solely to appease the lesbian community who were pissed off by the end of season six by giving Willow another girlfriend. But the problem is that the character is kind of empty and the relationship feels contrived, rushed, and very unappealing. Um, I don't really... I hate Kennedy, like I know some fans do, but I don't particularly like her either. She's just very uninteresting, and so is the relationship. Um, it's very depressing that after the lovely relationships she had with Oz and with Tara, this is who Willow's with at the end of the show. It's kind of... Eh. It's really only in a couple of the platonic friendships that we get any real warmth. Willow and Xander are as reliable for that as ever. And I really like the warm interaction we get between Xander and Dawn this season as well. Um, Xander's kind of treating her less like Buffy's kid sister and more like a friend in her own right, which is kind of nice. And the same applies the other way. I particularly like how clingy Dawn is with him after he gets back from the hospital to, uh, in the last couple of episodes, sitting on the arm of his chair and holding his arm, even while Buffy's coming up with her next plan to get them all killed or permanently maimed. Dawn comes in for a lot of stick in general from Buffy fans, I find, but her character matures a hell of a lot in Season 7, and I think it's only the lack of material she gets in the second half which is not alone in, that stops people noticing that. Caleb is a menacing villain, but he's arguably introduced far too late in the season, and the first is really too nebulous of a concept, and the bringers too faceless to really make much of an impact as big bads. Another problem is kind of Principal Wood, to be honest. I mean, he's an okay character, an actor, but this season is so overloaded with new characters already that many of the regulars, like Dawn, like Xander, even Willow to a degree, are being neglected. So he really seems kind of surplus to requirements, and I could have lived without him, to be honest. Again, I don't think season 7 is a bad season, but I don't think it's that good either. Um, the first five seasons will always be my favourite, but honestly, this time around, I actually liked season six more. Um, there are funnier episodes in season six. We, we've at least got some warmth in the relationships, and I do think that the f kind of the build up to the finale is better than season six. Season seven is probably my least favourite season. Again, it's not bad, so I'm not going to trash it too much. It just doesn't appeal all that much. I'm going to give Season 7 a somewhat disappointing C+.